So here we are going to be using the modulo operator to solve this problem and if we're breaking this down into steps the first step would be to ask the user for the number of hours so let's do that right here and um, we're going to be using input um, and we're going to say enter number of hours um, of course we know that input takes in everything as a string so we need to turn it into an integer before we can start working with it and we're going to take that number that the user enters in and we're going to save it in a variable called hours right. so in English this is reading this variable hours is equal to whatever they type in uh, set up as a number not a string and then what do we need to do calculate the number of days and the number of hours left over okay so the number of days how, how would you do that well let's assume that hours is equal to let's say 48 right um, let's say they entered in the number 48 here uh, what would we do to hours to get the number of days right? well first of all we need to say hours and we're going to divide that guy by 24 okay. that's going to give us 2 and we're going to save the answer in another variable called days. So we're going to say days is equal to hours uh, divided by 24. Okay. Um, and another habit that you want to get into is when you use your math operators like divide and multiply, uh, put a space in between. Um, every operator should have a space around it. So here we're doing equal sign. Notice there's two spaces around it divide the same way it increases readability it's standard practice uh, nobody wants to read your code when it looks like this okay so let's be conscientious of that and put parentheses uh, spaces around all of our operators and now the question is is how do we get the number of hours that are left over well that's where the magic of modulo comes into play because what we can do is we can say hours no I'm sorry days left is equal to hours modulo 24 okay so how is that going to work for this example if hours is 48 well hours will be 48 48 modulo 24 breaks down to 48 divided by 24 and that equals to 2 remainder 0 right so um, this modulo will give us how many days are left over after taking out the number I mean the number of hours that are left over after taking out the number of days so let's change this to 49 how would this work out was well, this is 49 modulo 24 so this would be 49 divided by 24 which would be 2 remainder 1 and this would return 1 and that would be the number of hours that we have left over after taking out all of the days so uh, modulo uh, is uh, essential here to solve this problem right? and so now the last thing that we need to do is we need to print out some message and we could just say days left and print it out and good to go um, and let's go ahead and try that I'm going to type in 49 and hit enter you can see a 1 is there I'm going to type in 48 and hit enter you can see a 0 is here I want to enter a big number 361 and let's see what the answer is there it's uh, one hour right? Um, so this is working out the way it should um, except we want this to print out in a more easily read format so to do that we can print out a string before it and concatenate um, our result right? so we can put here the number of hours left are in a space and ooh, this should be actually hours, right? Hours left. This is going to change to hours left. And then I'm going to hit run, but it's going to error out, I believe. Let's do 47. Yeah, it's going to error out and say so it cannot concatenate string and int objects, right? On line 6. So it's right here. Um, and so since we have a string here and we have the plus sign, we are not adding. We are doing string concatenation. So it's trying to concatenate two strings but it's saying hey hours underscore left does not contain a string it contains a uh, integer so that's a problem so to solve that problem we need to turn this integer into a string so we we'll have two strings now and they are going to concatenate to each other and we might even want to put a uh, period here at the end right? 
and so there we go let's run this I'm gonna do 45 and hit enter and the number of hours left are 21 so now it's uh, printing out in an easily read format um, and this looks good